What's up guys, it's Wanza here. Today we're going to be showing you guys just how you can set up your Twitch and your stream with OBS so that it's completely organized and professional so you can just game all night. Let's have a look. Alright guys, so we got this whole setup going on here. I'm using the entire screen as you'll notice to try and organize everything. Uh, first, we got my Twitter. That's always up just in case I need to share anything or tweet at some people or you know people's requests to tweet back at them or follow them. Always got to keep that up in the tab. You got your twitch.tv. You can watch the video if you've got good enough internet or just keep the chat open. Click this. You'll see your whole viewers list. It's a really nice option because uh, sometimes this doesn't really update as fast as you want to show you how many views uh, or viewers are in your room right then. Um, then next we got the dashboard for the twitchalerts.com. I'll be coming back to this. This is a really cool new feature that I found out. Uh, it allows you to see uh, who is following you and who is donating and later who is subs subscribing to you. So this is a really cool feature. I'll get back to that though. Then we got my OBS software uh, over here on the right side and then my Pandora below it. And then this is another part of the Twitch alerts, this little green screen. We'll get back to that, as I said. Um, so let's get back to OBS and uh, see how really I, I got this set up. So first of all, things you got to know are, are scenes over here on the left. Here, let me open this a little bit bigger for you guys. All right, so first things first, I'm going to go over with you guys the scenes and what that is. It is pretty much your folder to open all these sources like these are like little scenes you can create um, where you have presets of different sources coming in really I've only used one I've made all these other ones and I've only used one so just start with one if you need more organization or if you know you're doing some crazy awesome twitch shows where you're like going back and forth between different screens or whatever that's cool do that with scenes sources this is going to be every input that you have coming in for uh, your game, for the webcam, uh, for your overlay, uh, for your Twitch alerts, green screen, um, or right now I've got this monitor capture on, which is strictly to show this OBS setup. Over here you've got your mic volume. This is the overall mic volume that's going out to the stream. You've got your volume. And then below you've got settings. This is the main one you use, edit scene. Uh, I'll show you how to do this real quick. Anything that you have clicked over here on the sources, so my overlay, my monitor, anything you have over here that you need to adjust on, on the screen itself, you just do edit scene, boom. Hit that edit scene and you'll see I can just, I can just take this away. Take that away. Ooh. Nice. Also, if you hold Alt, you can actually cut it. Look at that. You cut it from any corner. Boom. That's a really nice trick for when you're using your webcam and you want to like set it up a little bit better. But make sure that you're clicked on the actual source you want to edit, and then you click Edit Scene right after that. And you'll notice it goes blue to highlight it and it'll also give you a red box under which you can look at. Okay, so next you've got global sources. I don't use this function. Don't worry about it. Plugins, don't use it. Don't worry about it. Start streaming. When you hit start streaming, it will start recording as well. When you hit st start recording, it will just record. Um, you can set it up so that you're just recording and you're not streaming at all. I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So you go to settings, uh, general, just keep everything up up uh, to English, you know, whatever you guys use. Uh, <laughs> so let's click settings. We're going to the settings, general, keep it all the same. It's real general, if you know what I mean. Encoding, uh, times 264. Uh, don't use the NVIDIA, you know, like your actual graphics card. I, I feel like it just slows everything up and it doesn't actually work right. For the bitrate, this is one of the most important things. You will have to find out what works for your internet and what works for your computer best. The highest you should ever go is 3500. The only reason it's on 6000 right now is just to show this OBS setup video. 
Okay, so next we've got, okay, so on broadcaster settings, uh, we got it set to Twitch slash Justin.tv. You'll get a path stream key from your actual Twitch. You can find this on Twitch. You can Google it. How do you find a stream key? Really simple. All this stuff is the same. Connect, auto reconnect time, uh, 10 seconds. It'll just try to reconnect after, after it disconnects, and it'll take like 10 seconds. So do that. And then delay. This is really good if you're using competitive play. If you want to add just an extra delay. Now, you've got to know that Twitch actually adds uh, around a 15 second delay anyways. So if that's good enough for you in your competitive play, do it. I really wish there was no delay at all so I could just completely interact with the viewers like as it happens. Because sometimes people will ask a question 10 seconds later, all right, peace. So, you know, that would be nice. So keep recording if live stream stops. You can always do that. Got all these hotkeys open up. I don't really use it. Make sure to make your gameplay go to a specific folder if you've got like two terabyte hard drive or something that you can just keep loading up ga gameplay onto. It's always nice because this is a better quality than Twitch Highlights really does for you. And you can uh, end up editing it later on like the Twitch archives. And if you guys don't know about that, you can set it up on your Twitch and you can archive every stream you ever do so that you can highlight it straight from there um, or you can just look at the archives. So you, again, you'll see Twitch doesn't want you to use anything above 3500. So that's how I learned that. <laughs> so for the video, make sure that your video adapter is set to your correct graphics card. I got the 760. I saw that this was a pretty high-end one, so I just wanted to make sure I had the top of the line for my computer. 30 frames per second, do this. When people do 60 frames per second, it looks really weird. Even if you're going to watch The Hobbit, it's not meant to be played in 60 frames per second. 30 is great, and it's fine, and it's what Nate Shot uses, so don't even worry about it. <laughs> oh, and also, don't do any resolution downscale. Just keep it the whole 1920 by 1080, unless you are having your Elgato set up to 720. I'll show you that later, where it should be set up to 1080 instead. So for your audio, I use the Astros, so I will be setting up with the... Uh, with this uh, being the Astro mix amp, and even the microphone is the uh, is the uh, is the Astros as well. Next, over here you've got the sync offset. This is something that you'll need a friend to help you out with. You need to figure out how much your webcam is actually off from the actual gameplay, so that you're reacting directly to the gameplay. In this mic sync offset, this will be the same exact thing that you use for your webcam and I'll show you that but mine is set at 1800 milliseconds right now that's about 1.8 seconds so you just think about that it's like every thousand is a second now we go to advance I don't think I've really changed anything other than making this very fast and encoding is main other than that don't touch it this is just weird stuff to mess with Microsoft, a microphone noise gate this again I have not switched I have not enabled it so just don't even touch it. It gets a little weird when you start doing it, unless you really know what you're doing here to, to do some custom presets. Okay, so that was the settings that we went over. Now I'm going to go over exactly how you configure your overlay. For overlay, you just need to go to Properties. You right-click it, go to Properties, go to Browse. You'll see I've got all my branding all in one folder. And it's just, all it is is a PNG file. Boom. It's a PNG file that is, has a transparent background. Uh, PNG allows you to use this transparency. I think JPEG will actually save it with like a white background. Even though it shows a white background, it's actually being transparent. And this is the white right here. Um, and you'll see like right below this, I saved this with a black background. That's not going to work. You can't overlay anything. Uh, with that, you'll just be blocking your whole screen. So then you just go ahead and click open. Boom, it'll pop up. And you've got your overlay right here. Okay, click okay. And you got your over overlay right here. So next, we got my alerts. You'll see that it's invisible right now. 
I want to show you exactly how I'm doing these alerts. So all Twitch Alerts gives you is this green box. Um, and I'll show you how to get that green box, but it's real simple. It's twitchalerts.com, and you just uh, click Launch, and then just go through the setup there. But all this is is really just doing a color key for you. Uh, so first, you've got to select a region. You'll notice it goes right below this on here. Select a region. You just want to crop out all of the sides. You can move it like this. Make sure that it's got none of the sides in it and it's just green. Then you do color select. You select this. You can actually select it on your OBS itself. Boom. Select that. It's gone. Boom. Okay. So make sure that's clicked on. Sometimes you have to like click it and then click back into it to sort of refresh. It'll sometimes just show you like a, a black square there. Um, also, I just want to mention real quick, guys, that if you are not using the 32-bit OBS, it is in your program files. You have to use that. If you get this red screen, that is because you're not using the 32-bit version. You're using a 64-bit version. So make sure that you're doing that. You can Google that. Not a big deal. All right, now I'm going to show you guys uh, this twitchalerts.com. Um, I'll, I'll go into it from here. That's what you're going to see. You're just going to see twitchalerts.com. Okay, cool. Launch my Twitch alerts. It's going to ask you to sign in to Twitch. Sign in from there. Real easy. Now you're going to do uh, your dashboard. This shows you exactly how many follows you've gotten in the past 24 hours, subscriptions, and donations. It's a really cool setting. Donation settings. This is if you have a PayPal set up. That's really cool because you just put your email in for your PayPal, put in US currency, and then it creates this donate page. Let me show you this. Boom. Now people can give you a message, their name, donation amount, you know, a million dollars. Not too big. Not too shabby. All right, now we'll go back to the alert box. This is one of the coolest things that you can do, I think. Um, you could test them all up here, and this is where I actually launched the green box. So I'll show you. Um, go down to your follow alerts, and this is where you're going to set up your custom image and sound. Um, I'll just do a quick test for you guys while we're waiting for this. I'll show you a little bit more, and I'll do a donation alert. So you just test it right there. It's going to pop up on the screen screen, and then it's going to pop up on my OBS and on your stream. So enable that. You can do a little message template if you want. You can add an image, a sound, volume, all good things. Donation alerts. Oh, there it is. So you notice it pops up over here on the left without the green screen, but it shows a little bit of green when it goes away. Boom. Oh, oh, oh. It shows you that it's just a test donation. Cool. So that's pretty much it. Just have fun with it. You know, do you. And you can always test it out and see if it's working. Um, when you do click the launch button, it will pop up this green box. That's your main box that you're going to be using. I always like to keep uh, my uh, green box just allowing me to show the name right here and not have to see that image or like see green on my screen all the time. Instead, I got my Pandora blocking it right here. So I can just be playing music and I can see a little name pop up right there. And you can usually hear your own sound. Um, that sound bite, uh, you do have to make that in an editing software or just find a sound bite that that's like that small uh, to be able to use for that. Okay, so that goes over the alerts. Uh, and the overlay, the webcam, that's super simple. Just like I showed you, you can resize it anywhere. Um, and then you've got your Elgato. Uh, with your Elgato, uh, you just need to add. For each one of these, you've got to add one. Add video capture device. Uh, right now, I'm using a monitor capture, as you'll see. That just shows the entire monitor. Right now we can do an add video capture device, say Elgato. All right, so now it pops up, and you can see that this is also where I got my webcam at. You can also do through Exploit uh, Broadcaster and capture that. But we'll stick on uh, the Elgato for right now. Make sure that this 
audio input device is using your device audio. That's saying that it's using the Elgato. For some reason, I've gone to the Elgato Game Capture HD, and it doesn't work. Um, and I've also tried with the Astros. didn't work. Use your device audio. That's how you got to do it. Um, and you can always click Refresh uh, if it's not working. Sometimes your Elgato will not, like, actually give you a signal on it or it says it's being used by another application. Just close your OBS and then reopen it. I don't know why it does that, but sometimes you just got to... You gotta mess with some things. <laughs> Alright guys, that pretty much does it for the OBS setup. I hope you did enjoy it, and please leave some questions or comments down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Subscribe, follow, be a wonderkind, and always be sure to check me out every night from 7pm Central Time all the way to 2am. I'll be streaming there. Peace!